Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for checking out Blender Studio S. This is your host, Sometsu. Today I'll be making this bad apple video running in the background. Ever since its conception in 2009, the shadow art of bad apple has been replicated in different mediums. Using a couple of nodes and Blender geometry nodes, it only takes a few minutes to make such video now. So if you're interested, I invite you to join me in doing so. By the way, I will not be providing the original Shadow Art movie, so please google Bad Apple Video Download and find one for yourself. Okay, let's get into it. The version that I'm going to be using is 3.6, so as soon as I get into Blender, I'm going to go directly into the Geometry Nodes layout click on new and delete the group input. The nodes that we'll be needing are first grid, image info, and I'm gonna drag and drop the movie file in here. So let's start setting them up. I'm gonna change the repeat to extend, UV map to vector, then I'm going to use the scene time and connect up the frame. For image info node, click on the drop down and select the same image or movie name as the image texture and make sure that they are the same. So let's take a look at what's going on right now. So now you'll see a black image, which is because the image of the first frame is black. So let's take a look at the timeline and scribble through it. Uh, now you can see there is something going on. But the resolution is too low, so I'm going to increase the vertices by this width and height. And now you'll see the full image with this uh, girl dancing around. Okay. Now it's a good time to take a look at the image info node. Um, so if I control shift left click on the image info node, uh, you'll see that right here on the viewer, you can see the output of these sockets. So right now I'm taking a look at WIS, which is 480. Uh, next is height 360. Um, if I look at the frame count, it's 6569. So I'm going to go to the output tab on the output properties and change this end value to 6569. Last but not least, um, it's a FBS. So the original movie is at 30 FBS. So I'm going to change the frame rate right here to 30 as well. Um, by doing so, uh, we'll be able to synchronize both the image and the audio. Okay, so going back. Um, I'm not going to be using the full resolution of this image, so I'm going to add a mass node right here. Change the type to multiply duplicate it and I want to change these two values simultaneously so I'm going to create a external value node right here and change it to one connect these up so this value node is going to act as a gain to the resolution so if I change this value to one um, you can kind of see it's blurred. Um, I'm going to be using the value of 0.2, which makes the final result a little bit more interesting. Uh, next, I want to set up the size. Right now it's one by one, um, so I'm going to change it to the right proportion. Uh, I'm going to click on these three and Control shift d to connect, uh, duplicate with connections. Uh, connect up the top multiply to the X, uh, bottom multiply to the Y, and set the value to 0 0.005, which is a pretty nice size for this view. 
right? Uh, right now, it's just a girl dancing um, image, so I'm gonna start instancing some geometry onto it. So uh, I'm gonna go IOP for instance on points, and also Icosphere right here. Uh, I'm gonna set the radius to 0.5, subdivision to 3. Connect up to mesh to instance, and this is what we get, which is a bunch of icospheres just overlapping each other. So I'm gonna add a mass node right here. Set the add to divide, and for the top socket, I'm gonna use a size gain, size proportion gain right here. And for the bottom value, I'm going to be using the resolution gain right here. And connect this up to the scale. And now we we'll, we get this uh, lined up uh, icosphere um, with appropriate size. Okay. Uh, for our last operation, I'm going to add in a mass node here, change it to multiply, and connect up the color. So basically this is what we get. Um, wherever the image is black, um, it's going to be a size 0 icosphere, and wherever the image is white, it's a size 1 icosphere. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, I'm going to add a smooth set shade smooth node here and also a set material um, I'm not going to be going over the material in this tutorial but uh, if you want to make material and add it on um, this is where you pop it in okay so we're basically done with the nodes um, let's go back to the original layout and see how it's doing Okay, so if I turn off the overlay, um, set it back to frame 1 and start playing, this is what we get. Um, so you'll see these icospheres um, going up and down in size, creating this uh, image in the background. So if I take a look, at, look from the side, you'll see those are all a bunch of icospheres. Okay. Um, so rest of it is basically shading and camera camera work. Um, I'm not going to go over those in this video, but you can do whatever you like with it. Uh, and that's basically it. But let's go back to the geometry nodes. Uh, let's see the final result. Um, so this is basically the overview. Uh, there are two important nodes, I believe. Um, the image texture node and image info node. Basically, image texture node, you can use a single image or video, movie file, and uh, you can basically control whatever um, mesh or geometry based on the output of these color and alpha. For image info node, um, it's basically a convenient utility node, so you don't have to uh, go and find out what the FPS is or the frame count is um, by yourself. You can kind of pop this in and it's going to tell you. Uh, it's going to extract the information that you basically need. So yeah, um, basically this is it. Let's go back to the original layout. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have any comments, questions, um, please let me know in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. For this tutorial, I've connected the color info to scale, but of course you can come up with other methods as well. For example, in an alternative version running in the background now, I'm using the color info to offset the pins for this pin art toy. Thank you again for checking out the video. This was your host, Somitsu.